Hello coders, I welcome you all. From this video, I am going to start a video series on Python for data science. So with the machine learning and data analytics projects, I will upload some of the videos of Python for data science. I hope you like this. So let's get started. So we are creating projects for the users, right? So many times we want to accept input from the user. In Python 3, we use input function to accept input from the user. Please remember whatever you enter as input to this input function, the input function converts it into a string. Let me show you this practically. So let's jump to Jupyter Notebook. As you can see over here, to explain you this input function, here I have mentioned some questions. So now let's solve them one by one. So question number one. In this question, we have to take input from the user. So for that, let me use input function. Let me assign it to one variable data is equal to this statement. You can use any variable. Let me execute this cell. As you can see over here, now it is showing this window. In this window, we can input something. Let me input 10. I am going to press enter. So this way we can take input from the user in Python 3 using input function. Let me execute this cell once again. So as you can see here, it is not giving any prompt message to the user regarding what to input. So as a programmer, it is our responsibility to write a prompt message for the user regarding what to input. Let me enter my name. I'm going to press enter as you can see over here. So now our next question here. We are going to take input from the user with a prompt message. So let me use input function. Let me assign it to one variable data is equal to this statement. And here we can write any message for the user. So enter integer number. Let me execute the cell. I'm going to press shift plus enter as you can see over here. Now it is showing this prompt message to the user regarding what to input. Let me enter 10. Let me press enter key as you can see over here. So this way we can take input from the user with a prompt message that you can see over here to explain you this input function. Let me take one example addition of two numbers. So let me take X is equal to input and let me write enter first integer number. Let me take y input function and let me write enter second integer number and let me write z is equal to x plus y. Let me print value of z. So using print function, we can print something on the console. We will discuss print function in detail. Let me execute this cell. As you can see over here, prompt message for the user. Enter first integer number. Let me enter 10. As you can see here, because of this second statement, it is showing this prompt message. Enter second integer number. Let me enter 20. Let me press enter. As you can see over here, output is 10, 20. As per our definition, we want addition of two integer numbers. But here it is concatenating two strings that you can see over here. Why it is doing this? Please remember, as I said, Every input value to this input function is treated as a string type only. So let me check type of X and let me check type of Y. So using this type function, we can check type of variable. Let me execute this cell. Let me enter 10. Let me enter 20. As you can see over here, string and string. Both variables are of string type. As I said, every input value to this input function is treated as a string type only. So now to perform addition of two integer numbers, we have to use int function along with the input function. So here we have to use this int function along with input function. Here also we have to use this int function along with input function. So here it is performing type casting. It is converting this string type to integer type. Let me execute this cell. Let me enter 10. Let me enter 20. As you can see over here, because of this int function, both variables are converted into integer type. Now it is performing addition of two integer numbers that you can see over here. So this way we can use int function to convert our input into integer. Let me show you another example. Let me copy this and let me paste it over here. So this int function we can use 
here along with input function. Let me remove this. So in place of using int function along with input function, we can use it over here int x and int y. So this input function is taking input from the user as a string. But at this particular statement, both variables are converted into integer type. Let me execute this cell. Let me enter 10 and let me enter 20. As you can see over here, here is string. But at this particular statement, both variables are converted into integer. But here, both are treated as a string. Let me copy this and let me paste it over here. Let me execute this cell once again. Let me enter 10. Let me enter 20. Let me execute this cell. As you can see over here, it is performing addition of two integer numbers. So that's why here output is 30, 10 plus 20. But at this particular statement, both are strings. At this particular statement, both are converted into integer. And here after this, both are again converted back to string that you can see over here. So this way you can use int function along with input function and also you can use this int function with variables over here that you can see over here. So this way we can use input function for integer values that you can see over here. So our next question in this question we have to take input from the user with a prompt message. But here we have to use floating point values. So let me take this example once again. Let me copy this statements and let me paste it over here. So in place of this int function, we have to use float function here also. Let me execute this cell. Let me enter 10.2, 20.3. As you can see over here, output is 30.5. So this way we can input floating point values that you can see over here. Also, we can use float function over here. Let me copy these statements and let me paste it over here. Let me change into float here also. Let me execute this cell. Let me enter 10.2, 100.3 as you can see over here. So this way we can use input function with floating point numbers that you can see over here. Now our next question. In this question, we have to take multiple values from the user in a single line. So the question is, can we take multiple values from the user in a single line using this input function? The answer is yes, but we have to use list comprehensions for this. So those who are new to this, don't you worry. We will discuss list comprehension in very much detail. Let me show you this, how we can take multiple values from the user in a single line. Let me use Python list and for loop for x in input function. And here you can write any prompt message for the user. Let me write enter two integer numbers and here we have to use split function. So please remember this split function split string in a list here in this parenthesis we can specify separator but please remember default separator is white space as you can see over here as per our prompt message we have to convert our input which is by default string to integer. So here let me use int function. And let me convert this x into integer value. Let me execute this cell. Let me write 10 space 20. Let me execute this cell. As you can see over here, output is Python list. So we can assign this 10 to x and this 20 to y. In place of x and y, you can use any other variable names. Let me execute this cell 10 space 20. Let me print x and y. Let me execute this cell once again 10 space 20 and let me execute this cell as you can see over here output is 10 and 20. So this way we can take multiple values from the user in a single line using this list comprehension that you can see over here. So now our next question here we have to take only single character from the user in input function every input value is treated as a string type only right. What if we want to take only one character from the user? Let me show you this. So let me use this input function. And here you can write any prompt message. Let me write enter one character and let me assign it to one variable data. Let me execute this cell. Let me enter my name. Let me print data as you can see over here. As I said, 
by default input value to this input function is treated as a string type only but as per our question we have to take only single character from the user so let me show you this so let me write input and here you can write any prompt message let me write enter one character and here we have to use indexing concept let me write zero and let me assign it to one variable let me execute this cell let me write my name let me print data as you can see over here output is p only what if we want to take two characters from the user so for that here you have to write colon and two please remember in python first one is inclusive and last one is exclusive so here it will take only two characters available at index 0 and index 1 let me execute this cell let me execute this cell as well as you can see over here this is at index 0 this is at index 1 as per our question we have to take only single character from the user means available at index 0 so let me take 0 as you can see over here output is p which is available at index 0 so this way we can take only single character from the user that you can see over here so now our next question here we are going to use eval function of python so please remember this eval method returns the result evaluated from the expression let me show you this let me use input function and let me write enter expression and along with input function we have to use eval function and let me assign it to one variable x is equal to this statement and let me print x let me execute this cell here you can pass any expression let me write 10 plus 20 plus 30 let me execute this cell as you can see over here output is 60 so please remember this eval method returns the result evaluated from the expression so let me take another example so please remember eval can evaluate the input to list tuple set etc based on provided input if you are new to this just ignore it we will discuss this all in very much detail so let me show you this so what i want i want to accept list from the user so for that let me write input and here enter python list and we have to use this eval function along with input function and let me assign it to one variable list one you can use any let me execute this cell so here we can pass python list let me print this as you can see over here so this way we can take list tuple and set as an input from the user using this eval function that you can see over here so these are different ways by that we can take input from the user that you can see over here hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video